Darkness the hell? I've got the precursor box. It's dead. Well done, Che. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Le Garfou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was... Necessary. But... But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man, a Templar. And what's worse, he had the precursor box. He should be proud of his Perhaps... We should head for Alvin now. James Walter, fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, will be there. Kasigawasi reported that James Walter rooted out many tribes from their ancestral lands. We have proof that he's behind countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes. And when the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Mark my word, Shay. James Wardrop is a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. Well sung, lads.
You're here. The Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. My father to type. Ah, uh, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course, of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript, Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post haste. Else I will have him scalped. Can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Without wardrobe, with the manuscript. You won't lose us, you're already dead! Yeah.
Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Oh. You get back here. Helmet! 